Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Kev Scooter Motor Blogs. We're currently on the 50cc Boom PYT Revolution Scooter. And we're right out here on the in the country, on the side of the dairy, guys. Pretty, huh? Woo! <laughs> All right, cows, you guys all have a good day, huh? Man, how can they walk in that stuff? I bet it's cleaned out over there, but it's hella muddy right here. They're being milked this morning. That's the milking room. I'm trying to shut my visor right now to eliminate that wind noise, but it's totally all fogged up right now. Alright, it's clearing up a little bit. Just like yesterday's video that I uploaded, I choose to stay on this road to give my scooter a nice long distance full throttle uh, run, you know? Anytime you guys have a chance to do that with your scooter or something, man, I think it would really be good for the engine guys. The town, there's a lot of stop and go. But if you just give your scooter a nice little two, three mile run, just full throttle, keep your engine running pretty good, guys. I'm going against some wind right now. See what the speedometer says I'm going. It says I'm going 45 which is actually 31 for any of you new scooter owners out there 
don't get too happy whenever you see your speedometer showing that you're going like fast you know from my understanding is yeah all these scooters the speedometers are not accurate so with that being said is like right now my scooter says I'm going 45 miles per hour if I was to bust out the phone the GPS it would say I'm doing 31 big difference it's good to know how fast you guys are going because if uh, cops behind you and you're having to go the speed limit that's one good reason you know you might be in a 15 mile per hour zone and you're over here thinking well you know I gotta slow it down because I'm going too fast and he's pulling you over for going too slow if your speedometer marks too if it's ahead you know yeah so it's always good to know your accurate speed so pull out your the easiest way to do that is pull out your phone download a GPS uh, speed tracker app and take it from there once you find out what your accurate speed is you can always judge like a while ago it says my thing was going 45 miles an hour so my calculation I know that this here is like nine miles per hour faster than what the accurate speed might be you know so I just deduct it from there and that's how I find out my true speed See, like right now it says I'm going 50 now in kilometers it says I'm almost going 80 but 